NFL Network's Mike Silver, very good reporter, has this breakdown saying, look, there's a lot of trade talk around Xavier Howard. Now, Xavier Howard, we're, we're not talking about an older Earl Thomas here. We're not talking about an older Richard Sherman. We're talking about an in-your-prime all-pro stud. This isn't the Patrick Peterson talk and all that stuff. This is Xavier Howard, all-pro, who led the NFL with 10 interceptions in 2020. He signed a five-year deal two years ago. Two years ago, he signed five for 75. He's not happy with it. He wants a new deal. Miami, according to Mike Silver, probably not going to give him a new deal. And I would support Miami uh, in that fight. He's likely to get at least a first-round pick plus someone who's willing to pay him. There are several teams all in win-now mode thinking about such a move. If no one steps up to meet the Dolphins' price, Howard could try to force the issue by holding out of camp. He would be fined $50,000 a day. So Xavier Howard is like going on social media, and he's, he's posting you know messages like, oh, You'll appreciate me when I'm gone. He was apparently ticked off when they signed Byron Jones. He took it as an insult, reportedly, that they drafted a corner very early. It's like, dude, a, a secondary, a group of corners is at least three guys on the field. He, you need someone opposite of you, and you need another guy playing the slot. Why are you freaking out? He scares me a little bit in terms of his anger towards his contract situation. But let's just throw that out there because the Cowboys, I mean, I don't think their defense is anywhere close to good. They obviously have a problem in the secondary. What about Xavier Howard? Uh, sure. Yeah. With, the, with, with, with the cost of acquisition. There's a cost of acquisition. He's, Absolutely. He's 28. He's 28 years old. Uh, you know, from the, the money standpoint, what are they going to, you know... He's from Houston, so he's a Texas guy. Well, I mean, let's just sign him up now. He played at Baylor. Um, So, here we go. Pro Football Focus kind of has a breakdown on, on the best fit. The best fit is the Cardinals, they say. They're currently spending next to nothing at the position. They could be in the market now for a veteran presence. Uh, Kansas City has only about $8 million in cap space available right now, but the team could be a player for Howard if they could figure out the financial details. What they are saying, the uh, they could see returns from trading their first round pick in exchange for rounds like three or four picks and Howard from the Dolphins. Okay, so you get you could basically give up a first, you get back Howard and a fourth maybe. Uh, so we'll see what they wind up doing there. But Xavier Howard, from a production standpoint, Ooh. He had an 87.3 pro football focus grade last year. That is elite of elite. Wow. The year before, however, he was 56.5, which was worse than Diggs had last year. Oh. In 2018, he had a 77, which is dang near elite. In 2017, a 64. It's about what Diggs had this year. And then in 2016, a 57, which was obviously worse than Diggs. Diggs had a 63. So he's had a little bit of an up and down, but you dig a little bit deeper. Over the past three years, when targeted, quarterbacks have a 62 passer rating, third lowest among the 131 cornerbacks with 75 targets. Mm. He also ranks second in percentage of targets where he recorded either a pass breakup or an interception, 23%. And he had a uh, he had a 89 coverage grade. On Pro Bowl Focus last year. He, he's a stud. Yes. So I feel like you'd probably take a little bit more than just a first. If it, if it was just a first and then you got to pay him again, and then what's going to happen after two years into the new deal? That's what would scare me. If the, if the Cowboys, if the news broke that they traded their first round pick for Xavier Howard, I'd be excited by it. I'd be worried uh, in two years that he freaks out and get Stephon Gilmore mad when he's 30 years old, and you don't, you don't want to pay him when he starts to decline. Well, that that is true. And I don't know this guy. I haven't heard anything about him personally. I haven't heard him in interviews ever, so I don't know if he's a loose cannon. He's acting like one, but a lot of guys act like this when they're not happy about their contract. But you, you got five for 75 two years ago, and you want to rip it up because Byron Jones got a little bit more, like 
internal jealousy with your teammate that bothers me too. Well, here here you go. Here, like the breakdown is like he's all, his guaranteed money per year is five million bucks. Uh, he's twentieth in his position in average guaranteed money. Byron Jones is getting about seventeen to uh, oh, about twenty million more fully guaranteed over the lifetime of the contract. So you know that's twentieth to third. Byron's third. You know the the internal strife. You, know, you sh- the, a lot of these guys in, in these in these sports like they want their teammate to make a lot of money, and then they want to be able to leapfrog them. That's how it kind of works, right? Like you support. Oh man, that's great, Byron Jones. He's my teammate. He got more money, and my pro football focus grades better, so I should be able to get more money next time yeah. when this thing comes around. Uh, so the problem is when you give up picks and money for players. It's not good business. It's generally not good business. The Rams have built a really top-heavy roster with this formula. And they are one injury away, oftentimes, from being just desperate for people. I don't want to fall into that. I mean, I feel like we're already there. We we have one. Yeah, we're Dak. Everybody's Dak. Well, no, tackle, Tyron. Tyron goes down. It's over. Like, it's been over for this team. Um, receiver wise, you can probably recover, but I don't know. Autoflex, he's seen fan text. I just want to throw it out there because he might be getting dealt, and he's an absolute stud, and he's 28 years old, and we have a glaring need. 